and Don here with Don's question of the day. Guys, welcome to a brand new edition of DQOTD. It is time for the second question for this week. Before we get into that though, please guys help support DQOTD. Go down below that little red subscribe button. Click that button and make sure that you're subscribed to Don's question of the day. Also make sure you ring a ding a ding that notification bell so you'll know when we come out with a new video guys. The first question that was this week was about asking me questions because I'm always asking you guys questions and it's called Ask Don Anything Part 2 so make sure to check that out as well guys. You'll learn a lot about me just like the first video that we did about a year and two, three months ago. Here we go with the second question guys. They are there to support the home team or the opposite team um, whenever there's football, mostly. Uh, they're for other sports as well, but you mostly see them in football. Of course, I'm talking about cheerleaders. They are there to support uh, the team, to root for them and uh, make sure that they feel motivated uh, and are able to play a good game. At least that's the idea. They have been around since 1923 where they played in the University of Minnesota uh, way back way back in the day, almost 100 years ago. That's crazy, guys. But here is the question for today. Do you think cheerleaders are motivating or distracting during a football uh, game or during football games? Um, and it was either motivating or distracting. However, a lot of you had a different uh, word <laughs> than the two that we selected uh, to describe it. So we kind of went on a positive negative thing where if it was positive you know we kind of went with the motivation if it was negative we kind of went with distracting uh so let's see what you guys had to say about our cheerleaders by the way we mean no disrespect or any negative feelings or any any negative thing like that towards any cheerleaders out there you guys are awesome, and I know it's got to be a hard job to do, and uh, those that really are into cheerleading, it's not easy, I'm sure, and you guys work very hard. So uh, we're just ask, simply asking a question, what people think about cheerleaders in football, to see we, how you guys feel about that. I had a lot of interesting opinions about this. Um, so you were saying, you know, back in my day, cheerleading was really... Uh, fantastic and really cool and I felt like they motivated the crowd and the team more than they do today a lot of you had the opposite uh, today to say as well too um, a lot was brought into the scenario but we were strictly talking about football games but you guys did mention like in Glee the show or whatever you have dancing competitions, and those are really kind of different. They can include cheer, um, just like cheerleading, but it's more of a dance routine where they go into competitions and stuff. Yes, there are cheerleading competitions as well where they grade you um, on different things as far as cheerleading, but I think there is a difference between dance and cheer, so... Comment in the description, not in the description, comment down in the comments below and let me know what some of those might be, the differences between those two. But I know there has to be a difference, so. A lot of you that had kids or grandkids that are cheerleaders, uh, both male and female, um, tended to go towards motivational uh, during a game. So that's interesting. And I can't really say the same for somebody that doesn't have kids or grandkids or whatever it might be, family that are cheerleaders. Um, because I mean, you can't really say that people that don't, you know, would go the opposite way. You can't really say that. That didn't really happen. So, but it did seem like a lot of you, if you did mention that it was family that was involved in that type of t type of activity, um, that it was motivational, but there were a few that said that it was distracting. So, there we go, just something, food for thought. But guys, the results are in. What percentage of you said that cheerleading in football games is motivational? How many, what percentage do you think that might be? 40%, guys, 40% of you said that it is 
you think, motivational, or you had a positive outlook towards cheerleading in a football game. And by the way, we're talking about college, NFL, high school, whatever, um, high, whatever uh, football uh, that you could possibly think of. So, uh, and this does mainly concern uh, high school uh, football. I, I know there is cheerleaders for different sports, but you, you get the drift. <laughs> Of course, guys, that leaves 60% of you saying that actually you think that cheerleading is kind of distracting, whether that be from the dress of a cheerleader, uh, you know, skirts or mini skirts or, you know, the cutoff tops or whatever it might be. Hey, whatever. <laughs> But some of you said that might be uh, discouraging, not dis not discouraging, but just dis just distracting um, away from the game. And, you know, some of you were saying that's motivational, too. Uh, and some of you say it doesn't make a difference at all. Most people are concerned about the game. Uh, mostly males are going to be concerned about the game. And some of you mentioned how in the NFL, they don't really even show a lot of cheerleaders anymore anyways. It's more for the people that are at the game. But I don't watch a lot of football, so I don't really have a good grasp on, uh, you know, either one way or the other as far as uh, the showing off of cheerleaders currently in our day and age. So uh, maybe you have something to comment about that uh, below as well. Just let me know, guys, what you think about uh, this question. But 60% of you, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, yay. Yay, nay. <laughs> Yay, nay. <laughs> and a half and half today, um, kind of. So I, I kind of feel like, but the final number is 40, uh, 60 on that with distracting going ahead. So there we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy this question. Like I said, no offense. Anytime we do a question, uh, we're just simply asking and wanting some information. So it's good to talk about, you know, if it, you know, it, I think it's great because it gives uh, young people especially a chance to express themselves and they do work very hard. Um, I, I've, I've witnessed how hard they work on, you know, different uh, dramatic um, shows and stuff. They do reality shows and stuff. I know not all of that is, is real, but it, it does kind of have, it kind of follows a real uh, routine, so, but it's not easy, especially those dance competitions where they use males and females. Uh, that's pretty cool, um, seeing just the different competitions where they have, they choose different songs and stuff to dance to and all that. I know it's not cheerleading, or at least not all of it, but it is kind of cool to see that, so just saying. Um, I think that's going to do it, guys, but we've had a good week. I loved answering your questions earlier this week, and it was lots of fun. We will come back next week, Monday and Tuesday, with the first question of next week, and I hope you will join us for a brand new month of Dawn's question of the day. But that's going to do it, guys. Let me know how we're doing, and let me know if you have any questions to have featured on our show. You can do that by going to the Gmail down in the description below. Just email me there and let me know, guys. Do you have any questions or anything you want to say about this show? But that's going to do it for us, guys. I'm Dawn. Question everything, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.